Hey guys, it's Kay Jones coming at you with another video. I have not made a video in a hot minute on my YouTube channel for in a while. I apologize for that to my subscribers and um, I do want y'all to know that I check my notifications every day and I love interacting with y'all in the comment section. And I do think that this video will be the most important video on my YouTube channel. Uh, for many reasons, I think it encompasses not only men, women, children, um, people across the world, but it just, it, this applies to everybody in life. Um, so, uh, before we get into this, I just want to say that I'm just a 24 year old girl. Um, I'm not anything special. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a counselor. I'm not somebody that you listen to on Ted talk. I'm just a simple girl trying to make my way through the universe. <laughs> so that's so you have to take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. But um, this is something that I have figured out personally and I wanted to share with the world. Um, so this video is going to be basically about emotional intelligence and, and what is success. Everyone in life sees being successful as having a lot of money or a lot of people liking you or knowing who you are, basically being famous within your social group. And I'm telling you that that is wrong. Um, in my perspective or my point of view, I think you're only truly successful in life if you are happy. There are billions of people in this world and yet only a small percentage are actual, actually happy in their lives. I think if you have the basic Maslow hierarchy of needs, such as safety, food and shelter, um, striving on being happy should be your number one goal. And if you are happy, you are successful. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much, how, what people think of you. It matters that you are happy within reason, of course. Um, so for example, what I, what will make me happy in life is striving to go back for my master's degree. I want to become a certified public accountant. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to make money and I want to make money so I can be financially secure and so I can be secure and take care of my friends. And also so I can help other people have the opportunities to be happy in life because that is what makes me happy. Now, somebody else may see success in their life as playing video games and streaming in their mom's basement. But guess what? It makes them happy. That is success. Whatever makes you happy, strive for that within reason. And I cannot reiterate that em enough. The next thing I wanna kinda go with is an emotional intelligence. I think we all need to work on emotional intelligence. And it is very hard. Working on our emotional intelligence makes us vulnerable. And vulnerability is one of the most difficult things to ever, it's at, the, one of the most different th difficult things ever in life. When we lie, and we know we've lied and we have felt guilty. Do you know how hard it is to say, oh my gosh, I've lied. I'm not proud of that. I made a mistake. It's very hard to be vulnerable. But that's the first step to emotional intelligence. is taking accountability for our actions and for truly trying to be vulnerable and to grow as a human. Emotional intelligence is something that you have to focus on every single day of your life. We're human. Every single one of us makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. The deal with that is that if you're trying to be emotionally intelligent, not only are you striving to be happy in life, but you're also willing to give yourself grace to take accountability for your wrongdoings and to try to do your best to improve on them. You're also willing to have acceptance to realize I've messed up. I'm not perfect. I'm human, but I'm going to do my best to work on it. I'm going to do my best to treat others the way I want to be treated and everything as such. Emotional intelligence is letting go of things that you cannot control. You can control your actions and how you go through life, but you cannot control anybody else. You cannot control the weather. You cannot control other human beings. You cannot control how people treat you. You can only control how you treat others. And you know, this is just all small aspects of emotional intelligence, you know, it's very hard to do these things because of culture and society. It's difficult because all we want to do is go through our life defending ourselves and defending our actions rather than taking accountability. It's difficult. Nobody's perfect, you know. Um, it's hard to take constructive criticism. 
the other day, my father said, Kelsey, you need to work more on listening. You talk a lot, but you don't listen. Sit there and listen to what everyone has to say. Think on it and then say what you need to say because that's what's going to get you your thoughts collected and you're going to know what everyone else already thinks before you formulate your own opinion. That's really hard for me to tell my father, Dad, you're right. I really need to work on listening more. It takes it takes a certain type of person to sit there and say, you're right, I'm wrong, I need to work on that, and genuinely mean it. Apologies are hard too. Uh, we don't go in through life apologizing enough and genuinely meaning it. There's just a lot of aspects of emotional intelligence that are complicated and that I highly recommend that you know you look for you look into in your life because if you follow these steps to become a better person each day and to work on these personal aspects of your life that 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 apply to emotional intelligence you will work closer to true happiness which is success and i just wanted to make this video to really go over it um that's all i really wanted to say and um I just want to say that you're not alone in the world. There's so many of us out there. You are loved. And try to treat people the way you want to be treated. And try to constantly improve on yourself. Don't try to control others. Don't say, well, he did this as a way to excuse your actions. Just because someone did something to you doesn't mean that you can bark back. Always be the better person. And it's really hard to do that. Being human is hard, but I promise you will be so much happier in life if you work on your emotional intelligence, which encompasses so many things. I could talk for an hour about emotional intelligence and what it all encompasses, but the truth is is that it's just so massive and it's so large. When you have a bad gut feeling that you did something wrong or that wasn't that nice or dang, I didn't word that the best way, eh, it's probably your gut saying that, ooh, I probably should work on that. Um, and let's take take my advice with a grain of salt, but I think we all need to work on uh, criticism, constructive criticism. We all need to let go of judgment. You know, there's just so many parts um, of life that we each can work on every day and that will help us strive for true success, which is happiness. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut this video and I hope that uh, it gave y'all some insight and I will tell you I'm going to do the best of my ability to improve who I am as a person each and every day. I'm not perfect. I'm not proud of the things that I've done in the past, um, but I can definitely say that I want to strive for the future and um, take control of my own actions and let go of trying to control others. So thank you guys so much for watching and leave your comments below and I hope to make more videos in the future. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can hit me up on Instagram at kjonescrafts. I'll put it in the description below. I love private messaging people and um, everyone's a stranger before they come become a friend. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Press that subscribe button if you liked this video and also give it a thumbs up. Bye guys.